Hi, boys and girls. My name is Mrs. Jawarik, and I teach fifth grade language arts and social studies. And I wanted to share some exciting news. I'll be retiring at the end of the school year, and I'm going to miss you all dearly. And I'm going to miss all the kids that I would not have had a chance to teach. So I'm going to read a story to you today. So I'm very excited about this. It's called A Year with Mama Earth, and it's written by Rebecca Grable and Rebecca Green. Here's the, top, the cover. Mama Earth rustles her autumn wings, too cool her hot, tired face. She sighs and the first September frost crackles over bounce st stalks of corn. Pumpkins peek out from under wide yellowing leaves. They've been playing peekaboo, shaded from blistering heat all this time. Carved and lit from within, October's pumpkins grin. Mama laughs at chill wind. It stirs the maple leaves into a golden whirl while children spin and spin. Their scarves like twirling maple seeds until they tumble in a laughing heap. Ooh, look at that. November stubborn oak holds tight. To her curling, crinkly leaves, Mama Earth sings, oh, a lullaby to the fat black bear, the round woodchuck, the woolly caterpillar, the infant wrapped in blankets, while the busy squirrel packs the last few nuts into his summer stores. Let's take a look at all the animals. Can you find them? Oh, in December, Mama Earth dons her winter coat, white and soft, trimmed with crimson berries. She sings the songs of cardinals that peck up pumpkin seeds scattered down the snow. She dresses holly shrubs and icicles and thanks her children for long strings of cranberries left on the evergreens. Look at the beautiful cranberries. Look at, take a look at that cardinal. <clears throat> In January, the white world won't hear of warming up. No, Mama sends all warmth south to find the geese and ask if they're enjoying their vacation. Silent deer grow brave in January, and Mama Earth loads the tree's arms with white and blows light fluff against the window pane. Look at the beautiful snow sight. See the deer? By February, even the sparrows shiver, heads together, wings tucked tight. Rabbits spring over snow that wear ice like a shell. With the deer's feet sink deep, each steep crackling with mama's earth, soft smiles, she whispers for spring to wake the sleeping crocus. And deep, deep beneath the winter coverlet, spring breathes one long expected yawn. A crocus is a type of flower. Oh, in March, Mama Earth leaves a layer of mud beneath the snow to dress the snowman on the lawn. Oak gives up the last of autumn leaves. The sugar maples sing a sweet song of pancakes swimming in amber syrup. The dough tiptoes across Mama's damp carpet with last spring's fawn. And they shed their winter's coat of foggy gray for soft spring brown. Look for the animals. Do you see the deer and the squirrel? And I think they're tapping a tree for maple syrup. In a breath of pink and white, the dogwood, redbud, apple cry, it's time, it's time. And Mama Earth's sunny smile cracks the last of April's ice along the river's edge. Her children float their paper boats and dream of Ferris wheels and cotton candy. Pink and soft as the branches thick with buds above their heads. Maybe you've made a paper boat before. May perfumes Mama Earth with violet and honeysuckle. Ferns unfurl their lacy arms to greet Mama's gentle friend, the sun. And seedlings in the garden 
push out their first prickly leaves, ripe with the promise of fat melons and a late summer squash. I think we have a little pet in the garden here, maybe wanting to eat those seeds. In June, dizzy bees roll in open blooms until their bodies turn yellow in summer's sugar. Mama Earth sends the laughing brook to young deer for splashing, to raccoons for rinsing their paws, and to children to tease them into slipping off their shoes and socks to join the fun. July brings dancing rain and fireflies and crickets that sing till morning. Mama tightens night's rain and lets day play and play and play until the bats give up on waiting. They dine on mosquitoes while children toast marshmallows over a crackling fire. This is what you might do this summer. By August, her children have soaked the sun straight into their bones and still Mama Earth bakes the ground dry as toast. The peeper frogs hide until dewy evenings before coming out to sing their joy. Mama Earth shares carrots and turnips with the rabbits and the pumpkins again play their silly game beneath wide green leaves. Soon it's September, again, Mama Earth drives night into evening, faster, faster, faster. The squirrel pauses her work only long enough to wave goodbye to geese traveling to their winter home. Mama Earth waters her parched ground, making puddles for eager boots. She gathered icy diamonds in her skirt, saving them. She will cast them across the grass some night soon. When she sighs out, falls her glistening frost. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed the story. The book is called A Year with Mama Earth, once again written by Rebecca Grable and Rebecca Green. Thank you for listening.